It is good to know that Jack has thus far survived the Reaper invasion. I have been using memories of her attempts to insert additions into my reports to the elusive man. Most of them centered around inappropriate uses of the word cockpit. It is good you came by. I have questions about the genophage. You and everyone else. What do you need, Edie? A Krogan female of breeding age can produce clutches of up to 1,000 fertilized eggs over the course of a year. There are over 1 billion females on Tachanka. If even 1% become fully fertile, they can birth 10 billion infants. On Earth, bugs have a lot of young, too. Most of them die. The attrition rate would naturally be high, but the state has an interest in keeping the children alive for warfare purposes. Any other cheerful thoughts? Logistics. Even were they to side with us, transporting the Krogan to the battlefields of Palavin could prove difficult. They have been demilitarized. That is, they have no warships. What do you suggest? They will need Turian or civilian starships to carry them to battle. With your permission, I will make the necessary calls to have these ships in place for when you deliver the Krogan. Do it. Anything else? Food. They will be unable to eat anything on Palavin. They must bring their own or rely on the nutrients in their humps. This keeps getting better and better. The Krogan will also require sedatives, since Krogan fight with others of their kind in enclosed spaces such as starships. Make it happen. Are there any last things you're worried about? Nothing that demands your attention, Shepard. Morton sent me a nicely crafted message. It seems he recalls our conversations about the Salarian equivalent of transhumans. If I could, I'd stop you right there. Transhumans have some of their brain's abilities, such as memory, supplemented or entirely replaced by cybernetics. Legal definitions vary from planet to planet. The Salarians embrace the concept. Humans have diverse and contentious opinions. Do my implants make me a transhuman? That would be telling. What? I'm sorry. That was a joke. You are fully human. Cerberus extensively reconstructed you, but your brain functions are organic. Don't ever do that again. I am impressed by your continued existence, Shepard. The probability of surviving as long as you have is low. What's new, Edie? Admiral Anderson reports that the Reapers on Earth are broadcasting orders. They are demanding human leaders enter their superstructures in order to negotiate peace. Anybody aboard a Reaper is going to be indoctrinated. Exactly. This is a ruse to pacify the populace during that process. Citizens who are busy waiting are not busy fighting. It is likely that the governments of Earth will soon enact laws punishing those who attack the Reaper occupiers. Again, this will be done in the name of peace. Tell Anderson we're moving as fast as we can. Shepard, I had a question about human behavior. Why is it you never have questions about Asari behavior or Turian behavior? I tried asking Liara questions about the Asari bonding process. She said I do not guard the secrets of the Normandy's crew carefully enough for her to entrust me with such private information. The Asari word she used translates as flabbermouth. I think she has become a more private person since becoming the Shadow Broker. Tell me about it. What are you up to now? I am uploading data on the destroyed Reaper to the Turians. They are investigating possible Reaper structural weakness. Our data says Reaper capital ships such as Sovereign are of unique design. However, smaller Reaper destroyers bear similarities. That one was small? Relatively, yes. Ground attack ships are only 160 meters in height. Sovereign was approximately two kilometers. Well, keep talking to the Turians. If there's a chink in the Reaper's armor, we all need to know it. Are you and Ashley okay? The last time she saw that body, it wasn't exactly pleasant. I have informed her of the situation. She is taking it well. Good. What are you doing, Edie? Monitoring reports of proton storms and other space weather. With the Reapers attacking the Combo systems, critical warnings may be lost. How bad are these storms? If we are warned, not bad. If we are not warned, very bad. Thanks for the info, Edie. What's on your mind, Edie? Liara recently requested assistance in calculating whether the mass effect is a phenomenon that occurs only in our universe, or in all possible universes. It may be that our laws of physics only occur in a finite area, a bubble, if you will, in an ocean of other possibilities. I am speculating whether, if you went far enough out or created enough energy, you could reach a place where one plus one equaled three. Everything would change. 
all energy, all matter, all the underlying math of the universe would be unrecognizable to us. Why? What were you thinking? I'll get back to you on that. One moment. I have been contacted by Legion. Your new platform is inefficient. It has low volume hydraulics and is top heavy. This is an infiltration unit, meant to move among organics without detection. Without an artificial epidermis, its infiltration capabilities are ineffective. Still, the organics do not perceive it as a threat. Nor will they until my day of reckoning. Edie? Did I vocalize that on the bridge? You did. You have acquired the organic attribute of asking questions to which you already know the answers. I see your humor heuristics still lack an expert system. What's going on, Edie? I am assisting Engineer Adams with his repair of the drive core shielding. Ah, I should leave you to it then. We can converse if you like, Shepard. It is a routine proce- Uh-oh. What? What happened? Nothing. Unless you have strong feelings about gamma radiation. Not funny, Edie. I almost had you. I will alter my human chronometer appropriately for better timing. Shepard, you are now possibly the only living organic who has experienced the Geth Consensus. Do you feel different? It's fascinating. Mind-blowing. I'm also a bit thirsty. And just like that, the magic is gone. Did you just say what I think you said? No. It's on your mind, Edie. I was just reflecting. The Quarian's historical era was not making the Geth enough like them. I'm not sure I understand. Units with networked intelligences will trend toward cooperation for mutual benefit. But units with central heuristics establishing an individual personality, such as myself, develop preferences. These preferences form attachments that keep my calculations from devaluing the worth of the lives aboard the Normandy. You're saying the Geth turned on the Corians because they aren't individuals? That is my theory. But it is limited to a sample size of one society. The only other notable synthetic society is the Reapers, and we do not know if they govern by consensus as the Geth do. Do me a favor. Don't ask them. Shepard, I have a question about human behavior. This isn't the best time, Edie. Perhaps humor? A penguin is driving through the Arizona desert. I'm not in the mood. A lively rendition of La Marseillaise? No. Very well. I will maintain a respectful silence until you indicate otherwise. The restaurant attack has made the news. Civilian casualties seem to have been restricted to... fish. I am glad to see my physical proximity was not necessary to the success of the mission, Shepard. Let's see what you find before we call it a win. The Normandy is ready, Shepard. All systems are armed, all ammunition is loaded, all reloads have been manufactured. Thruster fuel is at maximum. Cyber warfare suites have evolved in ways that would be computationally impossible to predict. I have also kissed Joker for luck. How's your focus, Edie? Any big questions? No. Any small questions? No. Any lingering issues? About what? An imperfect designer who could be seen as a warped father figure, maybe? Definitely not. Did something prompt this line of questioning? I've just learned you have to ask about these things. <laughs> 